y'all. Welcome to my kitchen. Tonight, I'm going to show you how to do bacon in the oven. You're asking me, why would you put bacon in your oven? Well, there's several reasons, actually. The first one being that you don't have the mess on your stove with the grease splattering everywhere. Secondly, you're not getting burnt by the grease. Thirdly, the bacon doesn't curl up. And the main thing is that you can actually cook a whole pack of bacon at one time on your cookie sheet in the oven, which is great if you have a large family or you just, my family loves bacon, so I have to make quite a bit at any given time. And it's just easier to clean it up after everything's done because it won't actually splatter in your oven. So we're gonna actually have this for our dinner because we like to do breakfast for supper a lot of nights. And actually we do that a lot. We actually have breakfast for dinner more than we do at breakfast time because everybody leaves at different times of the day. So that's a thing that we do year round. I don't know how y'all are at your house, but we use a lot of bacon here. We use it for uh, BLTs. My husband likes to leave off the L and the T and just have a bacon sandwich. Uh, we also top our favorite burgers with bacon. I have a pasta recipe that I use bacon in. You can make a club sandwich. The possibilities are endless. So tonight we're gonna show you how we're gonna put this in the oven and I'll show you how to do that in just a second. Okay, y'all. What we're gonna do is you're gonna take a cookie sheet with the sides on it and I'm gonna use parchment paper. Now you can actually use aluminum foil or a rack if you have a rack that fits in your cookie sheet. But tonight, like I said, I'm gonna use parchment paper. And then all you're gonna basically do is just lay your bacon in and you want the sides to touch. And this will shrink up some, you know, as it is cooking in the oven. And we're gonna check it now I'm using the thicker cut bacon tonight. So depending on the thickness of your bacon is going to be dependent upon how long you're going to cook it in your oven. So we're going to put this in probably for about seven to nine minutes. And then we're going to pull it out and check it. And then we'll flip it and then we'll put it back in and we'll cook it for a few more minutes after that. But anyway, you can put it all on here. If you use center bacon, obviously you're gonna to have to adjust your time. You're just gonna to have to look in your oven and check it and see the de desired crispness that you like in your bacon. Now I am gonna overlap one of these pieces, which is okay. It'll just cook together, but we can separate it when it comes out. All right, as you can see, I've got it on here and I'm gonna go ahead and put it in our preheated 375 degree oven. And like I said, I'm gonna try it for seven to nine minutes on the side. So we'll pop that in the oven now. Okay, y'all, I took it out of the oven. As you can see, the, um, the edges are starting to get a little bit brown. So now it's time to flip it. And when you take it in and out of the oven, you wanna be careful. Use both pot holders, that way you don't have any grease get on you or in your oven or on your floor. That's never good. And we're gonna put this back in after we flip it for a few more minutes. Cause this is extra thick bacon. So we wanna make sure it gets crisp. And the thing about it is um, a lot of people would say, oh, that's a lot of grease. It's what helps cook the bacon more evenly is if you have some grease in your pan. And then when we take it out, of course, we're gonna put it on paper towels and take some of that grease off. Okay. And as you see, this piece is stuck together, which is fine. We'll get it separated later. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get this back in the oven. And we're gonna put it in for another seven to nine minutes. We're just gonna keep a watch on it. Hey, y'all. As you can see, I've got the bacon out of the oven. It actually took us about 12 minutes per side because we actually had some extra thick bacon this evening. But you're gonna to wanna to take it off your tray and you're gonna put it on paper towels and you wanna drain that grease off of it. 
and this is going to be what we're going to have for dinner. We're going to make up some scrambled eggs and enjoy that. And I hope that y'all will try this and let me know how you like it, how it works out for you. Again, just make sure you check your bacon as you're cooking it because you want it to be, you know, crispy. And this is going to be good and crispy. So please subscribe to my channel and click on the bell to get notifications for my next video that's coming up. And I hope that y'all have a great evening and thank you so much for watching.